So we have here as a warming up, we have two sentences. You have to decide what is the sentence. Number one is Joan bought a car. Number two is Michael read a book. So number one, a sentence for what? Which tense here? Yes, good. About number two, Michael reads a book. Which sentence here? Is it past or, or now? Yeah, now. But we can say this tense as, as a what? Okay. Present simple. Wonderful. Very nice. Good. Okay. So. It is the simple present tense. Well done. Well done, Samar. Okay. Here also, we will go and move to next slide. Also, we will talk together, okay, about simple present. About simple present. Can you give me one sentence by using the simple present, Samar, write down, okay, write down, to write in present simple, present simple down, one sentence, okay, he is an apple, nice, wonderful. He eats an what? Apple. Nice. Okay. So here we have some. We have four sentences. Choose the correct answer here. Number one is Sarah has read or reads or read an interesting story. So we choose for simple present. Which one here had read, has read, or, yes, Samar, or read, or read? What is the correct answer here, Sarah? Okay. Yeah, nice. What about number two also? They are painting, or they paint? Or they painted nice picture. So, are painting? No, we are talking about simple present. We talk about, and we are talking about simple present. So, paint. Wonderful. Uh, the next one is, she doesn't, or she didn't, or she don't like ice cream. She what here as in present simple. She don't. We don't use it for we, they, and you. Doesn't. Yes, she doesn't. The last one is my parents means father and mother doesn't or didn't or don't like watching TV. So here we use what? Because we have here plural. So yes, excellent. We use here directly and we will see the answer here. Yes, number one is read. Number two is paint. Number three, doesn't because we have uh, three. If we have face three things, which which are singular, like she, or he, or it, with negative, you use what not, with doesn't. Okay, so this is the answer for the exercise for the simple present. Okay, here next, we also <clears throat> have some slide which is 
focus on simple present and past in the same time. Okay, Samar, can you write down here some sentence by using dozens? By using what? Dozens. Write down in chat zone. Okay, but use what? Dozens. Not does with not. Dozens. Write down. Yes, by using dozens. Can you? Can you write it down, Summer? <clears throat> write down in chat, yes. She doesn't, yes, excellent. She doesn't like coffee. She doesn't like coffee. Yes, wonderful. But here, you have to write full form, okay? Or write by short form and add what? Apostrophe and delete the O letter. Okay? Like this one. Okay? Here we have doesn't here by writing at the top. Okay? Apostrophe. Okay? Doesn't. Like this. Okay. Okay. So here we have W H question. W H question. Yes. I don't also like this one. Here we have W H question. If you'd like to make sentence by or question. You have to start with WH question plus helping verb plus subject plus verb and the sentence, okay, complement. So, this is the form, how, this is the form for how to make question by using WH question, like this question. What are you doing? What are you doing? So start with WH question. Here we have helping verb. Here we have subject. And the last we have what? Verb plus ing. This is one kind of question uh, present continuous. Okay. So here, make a question for this one. They study English every Tuesday morning. Can you please complete the question by using WH question when they study English every Tuesday morning? They talk about time. How can make question for that? Or number two, I have two pens. I have two pens. So, how many, how many, okay, how many, how can use this kind of a question? How many what? How many what? How many what? And the last one is Romy, okay, goes to school by bus. Okay, so here you have to use WH question. The number one is, when do they study English? Here talking about the time, when? Every, the answer will be every Tuesday morning. And here we have sentence, I have two pens. If you'd like to ask about how many, by using this form, how many pens do you have? So, after how many you have to write now in here, plural, pens. Also here, Romy goes to school by bus. How? Yes, we are asking about how does Romy go to the school? So, 
these are the form for how to write in correct way by using by using what by using wh question okay question raised for you can you write down in chat zone some of wh question wh words can you write down wh words yeah write them in chat zone write down yes some kind of wh wh yes where are you from excellent i want just wh question sorry wh word like where and like what where i will help you also when and who excellent wonderful how yes so these are wh words wh word okay good good so here we have some exercise and we talk about the preposition talking about the preposition okay excellent summer well done nasser has a meeting okay in or on or at 9 a.m so we have here three prepositions what is yes what is the correct answer also here in england it often snows in or on or at december the number three is the shop close okay or closes at on in midnight the number four is there should be a lot of progress on in at next century the last one is do you work on in at so everyone has uh, has its own function number two for time we use at okay we for time if you have number of time you, you uh, use at also here for month we use what n also for midnight okay we use also at here about the century or next gen century we use n the last one for days we use on okay so you have to uh, memorize all these uh, function okay well done here we have a relative pronoun which are who and that and which who that which relative clause used to add information about a noun in the main clause okay so here relative pronoun who and that we use it for people you can say who or that both for what people also here relative pronoun which and that so here that comes with two sides here comes with uh, people and comes with things and animal but here which just for things and uh, animal so we call it as relative pronoun here this is the stadium who or which our team plays in what is the correct answer here what is the correct answer here who or which and why yes which why you choose uh, which why because we have people of or we have things okay so you have to differentiate between two type of that stadium wonderful okay he is 
the helpful taxi driver who or which brought us to the hotel yesterday who or which because we have here driver so we choose we choose what we choose who wonderful okay next here we have that's the new restaurant who or that is really expensive really really expensive and we have here two options who or that so we have here restaurant we choose directly what that or who yes wonderful the last one is the man okay buys a book is my brother the man who or the man which wonderful so finally for this uh, yes wonderful amen finally for this rule if you if you face people like ahmed like a driver like man you can use which or that but about things and animals we use which and that so this is the rule for relative okay this is the answer for the relative clause or pronoun okay here we have something very simple we are we are talk about past progressive with while with the word while here you see the while so here we have sentences but this sentence is divided in two types the first one okay here like this one i was what studying while he was making dinner so we have two two type of sentence so the past progressive we use the past form plus ing for the verb we can use the past progressive with while because we have while to talk about action that were happening at the same time so we have two actions and we talk about it how about them i was studying i was studying in the past while he was making dinner so in the same time we make two actions you are studying you were studying and he was what making dinner so here we using what while okay here while ellen was reading tim was watching watch watched television we use it's very clear we use the first for the first the number 2 number 2 is were you listening while he talk yes excellent talked was talking The last one we will see the answer later Thomas wasn't working and I doesn't work or wasn't working either so we will see the answer here was watching was talking and wasn't working so this is the answer for what past progress if we use the past form plus what add uh, ing okay here is a summary for the previous thing we talked about before so in the present or simple present you can say simple present or a present simple they are both no problem so we have two kind we have affirmative without not and we here we have negative with not so if you'd like to write sentence uh, in the present in the present simple tense we add or we write subject 
plus verb plus s for he she it plus object but here a negative we add what try it subject do or does okay did this is for the past and not plus verb plus object also here if you would like to making wh question you have to start with wh question and helping verb and subject and main verb and the last one sentence sentence complement okay yes also we have a prepositions of time we have a three prepositions of time in on at this is a preposition of time you know we have another type of a preposition which is a preposition of a place but here we talking about preposition of time we have here in on at in for months years centuries and seasons this is for in but what about on day and date the last one is what about okay practice or about a specific time about specific time okay so the last is we have and we talked about relative pronouns which are who that or which that who comes with people and which comes with things and animal